What is that? There's a floating green thing coming towards us. And it says clone. But I think the people who made this wanted to outdo themselves by showing you this very quick text. 3D text. Oh my god, that was a thing. They were like, look at the technology back in the 90s. That was amazing. So yeah, welcome to this Net Eurose game. Which, um, Net Eurose was like a thing Sony did for the PlayStation. Where it was like, it was essentially indie games back in the 90s, pretty much. And they like came in demo discs. And this was one of them. Ah, don't show the game yet. Bloody hell. I know you're bloody wanting me to play it, but... God, bloody game. Yeah, so this was one of them that I remembered. And I remember it because this game actually used to scare the shit out of me. Like, I was like... This was when I was like, I don't know, like seven or something. I don't know. Or I think it was about seven. I can't fucking remember. But... Yeah, so this was like a first-person shooter. You could probably sort of tell by that two-second thing that came up. But let's take the controls. Up. Forward. Down, backwards. Oh, okay, that seems logical. Could they not just show the whole thing on the screen? Hmm, I don't know. Right turn, L1. I'm using an Xbox One controller, but I think the buttons should be mapped out. You just gotta think it is a PlayStation controller. So cross would be A, triangle will be Y, like for example. So I'm using an emulator called EPSXE. And uh, after a bunch of bloody fiddling around, I actually got it to fucking work. Hey, let's see who made it, who made this possible. S. Ashley, screw you for giving me my childhood nightmares. Screw you, J. Page, for giving me childhood mem uh, nightmare nightmares. Monsters, especially screw you, because the enemies are bloody creepy. Alright, cool. Well, let's just bloody get to the game then. Level 1. Oh my god, oh, the analog's really weird. Oh, I better go to the D-pad instead. I think my controller did have an analog at the time, but I probably just used the D-pad because I don't know, I just found it easier. So yeah, so... It's a bit like Doom. In fact, there are sound sound effects from Doom, actually. We'll get to those. Ah, there you are. Yeah, these. this is what caused nightmares for me. As did a lot of people. Like, when... I mean... When they were young, I guess. It's nowadays, it's like, eh. I mean, they're creepy, but... Not bloody... Too scary. Ah. There you go, Doom sound effect. And I think when those creepy things, like, shoot at you... I think that's another Doom sound effect. It sounds like the... Icon of Sin spawning things, but, like, sped up. I don't need that. Oh. Strafe. God, it's so weird that the A, or sorry, the X button is shoot. Oh, what's that? Whoa. I shot and heard a noise. Yeah, using that strafe ability. Oh, purple orb. What does that do? Oh, right. It makes you shoot faster. Yeah, well, why, why didn't they just put, like, another gun? I oh, don't know. Wouldn't that make more sense? Instead, it's like, no, this purple orb, for no reason, makes you shoot faster. Because, you know, why not? Ah! Bit weird they put it in the first level. You'd think they'd put it later on, maybe, because you find it immediately. So, I think, really, you've seen the whole game, because that's what... I think there's, like, four levels, and they're all pretty much just the same thing, but, like, obviously, the level layout's different. Ah. Is there people behind me? Ah. Ah. Yeah, give you that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have a key. No. Does this have a map? I can't remember. I think it did. If I could probably remember. Oh, B. Oh, that's useful because since all the textures look the same, you know, I can, ma I can imagine you, get, you can get really lost in this game. Everything's just doom. <laughs> or maybe, I guess, kind of Wolfenstein 3D, because this is like 
because that's what the levels look like. So this is before. In fact, no, yeah, Doom. In fact, when did this come out? I can't remember. It must have been at least kind of mid or late nineties. So this was pretty interesting back then because this was like, yeah, as you saw, it was like created by like three guys or four or how many showed in the credits. And this was in, in the nineties. You know, there's nothing really like that back then. And I think they were just tasked with just, hey, let's just make something like absolutely scary that will just scare the shit out of everyone. Oh god. Here we killed all the enemies. Because it says 17 kills. Kills 17 out of 17. Let's just pick up all the health kits then. I don't think there's a sprint button. I don't think there is. Alright. Can you sprint can you sprint strafe in this? Kind of. Uh okay. Don't need the map now, I know where I'm going. Three. Level two. Oh, go away. Oh, found a key already. Good thing I went that way first. That's useful. Hello. Seriously, what's the floor supposed to be? That's what I want to know. Some weird moving flesh floor. I don't know. Where are we supposed to be in? <laughs> what's the story? Huh? I guess there is no story. It's just some guy who explores some cavern and finds these creepy monstrosities. And now you're just, like, tasked to kill them. Maybe, maybe, maybe that, was the, that was a thing back then. I think you just had to use your imagination of what the story was. Because bugger it if the bloody programmers want to do that. I mean, how could you really make a story out of this? Huh? Oh, what are you... God, the bloody sound they make when they die. Ah! Do that. They... Wait, do they always disappear? I thought it like actually showed a corpse on the floor when you kill them. Maybe it didn't, or maybe my emulator's weird. I don't know. See, as I said, I'm using EPSXE. Works pretty, works pretty well. I mean, with all emulators, it's always really fiddly to get them to work. Especially if you have like a very shit computer. Like I've got a PS2 one as well, but only some games work properly. Because obviously, PS2 games are a little more demanding for my computer because you know that computer is a potato. Remember, PS1 games seems to just be enough. You know, like I can get them to work. Uh, yeah, I'm going to swear. I think I'll be able, be able to just quickly play the whole thing, so I mean, it's not that long. Bloody, bloody, he was camping there, he was waiting for me. <laughs> yeah, that's the noise the Doom Marine made when you took damage. That they made it so it was when you pick up a health kit instead. Kind of weird. Blue key. God, I found two keys already, and I haven't even like found all the other ones yet. Ah, there's the green one. God, I'm just the movement. The moving is feels really weird. I don't know what it is. It's only because like you can't, you don't use two analogs. It's all one. Like d either one analog or D-pad, depending on which you want to use. I'm trying to use the D-pad because I know it just feels more authentic using the D-pad. Although the PlayStation did have analogs later on, so you know. So what's the right way? <laughs> I know it's because when I use the analog, it feels really weird in a game like this. 
Like, you'd, you'd expect the other analogue to make you look. Not have one analogue does the moving and the looking. Oh. I haven't killed all the enemies. Ah, I don't give a shit. It's not like there's any... It's not like you're going to find any power-ups. Like, that machine gun thing, that was all there was, I think. Or have I even completed this? I don't... I think I've completed it, like, before. But, like, when I was younger, I couldn't even actually play this. Yeah. You might be looking at it thinking, like... Okay, it's not too bad. I mean, yeah, it's quite dark. I kind of see why you might find it scary. Especially when you were, like, a kid. But, no, seriously. I couldn't fucking play this game. I probably couldn't even get past the first level when I was, like... When I was seven. I do remember playing it, like, again. Like, a couple of years later. When I've grown up and matured. Well, not yet. And I think I completed it. Because I think I think it was four levels or something. Like, it's just a short thing. I now look at this game thinking, okay, this is an interesting piece of, you know, this was what indie games were in the days. And there were other ones. But this was the one I mostly remembered only because, you know, you know, as I said, bloody scared me. I was, I was a pussy, let's just say that. That's probably what it was. Now, now, I'm just like blazing through like, ah, you don't scare me anymore. I'm going to kill every one of you clones. Oops, oops. Wait, is it? Wait, was there a sprint button? Oh, why sprint? Okay. Oh, no, I, I, click, I looked at the controls, but didn't even fucking look at them. What was even the point? I was like, okay, let me look at the controls. And then I don't even, like, remember it after. Okay, so there is a sprint button. Hey, you don't run out of sprint, it doesn't look like. In fact, let's just let let's just play speed run this. Well, I don't know. Oh wow, that was all there was. It was just a little tiny square room with him in it. The trap. Oh. I'm trying to think what how like you actually would make these back then. So I remember, I think it was like you had another PlayStation, but it came with like the software included. Oh bloody hell! You know that was loud. <laughs> Fucking like three enemies shot at the same time, so it made the sound very amplified. Yeah, because I remembered it was like you had another PlayStation, and like it for something, and like it came with the software that helped you create this. Yeah. But, but in other words, look it up. I'm not a fucking expert, all right? All I ever did was play this and a bunch of other Netty Rose games. I can't remember what the other ones were. Hmm. I'm trying to think now. Wait, was there nothing over there? Sorry, I, no, I've got to stop looking at the fucking map. I look at it too much. All right, so there's a blue door, so we don't have a key yet. I haven't been here. Oh, okay, there's a red key. Is there a red door somewhere? Oh, oh god, I thought the fucking game crashed for a sec. <laughs> Don't crash on me now. Alright, let's go. Uh, Hang on. Ah, bloody hell, I'm trying to... Ah, oh no, it's this way, okay. <laughs> I was like thinking, what the, how do I get there? Oh, pff, shoot the door. God damn it. You're going with that level design of, okay, all the doors are, like, accessible, but you're just going to have to find the, the first lock door, which is, like, which is, like, on the other side of the map, and then you got to run all the way back. <laughs> cheap, that's cheap level design. I expected better for, like, three guys who was programming or making this game back in the 90s. I suppose, what else do you expect? But again, I imagine back then this was pretty interesting. Like, oh my god. The technology nowadays. I guess it was quite ambitious to do a first person shooter as well. What the? Why is that a. What the? Why is that an X? Oh shit. Oh, ah, oh god. I got stuck. Is that a glitch? Hmm. Something tells me they that wasn't intended. Like they accidentally left that there. 
Okay, that was weird. <laughs> so yeah, level four. I think this is the last level. I don't think anything spectacular happens at the end. I think it just resets. Just like most games. It's like, well done, you completed it. Now play the play level one again. Keep that health kit. Actually, nah. I think this game gives you too much health. As long as you know how to control it and what you're doing, it doesn't. It's not really that hard. Because even when even like they, they, there's no different enemies. They they don't get stronger or anything. It's just all this level, all this game can do to you is just throw you in a different map. Which, of course, you do have a map to look at, which, you know, useful, because, you know, could you imagine trying to walk around this place, trying to, like, without a map? I mean, if there was different textured walls, that might help you. But there isn't. It's all just stone walls, weird moving ground, and stone ceiling. There you go. That's the whole game. You can complete this game and like, but I don't know however long that it's taken me to complete it. Oh. I think what I think what made it scary for me in the day was. When you're near an enemy, you can hear this heartbeat. I don't know if you could hear it. So I think when I was seven as well, I keep saying seven. I don't know if it, I can't remember if it was if I was seven, but I don't know that's just a fucking guess. I can't remember everything. It's just that when I was seven, like I, I don't think I've ever played a game like this, like first person. Like what a great game to start with. How about a horror game? Where it's bloody dark as shit, like you can't see 10 feet in front of you. And there's these creepy bloody things that just walk around everywhere. And scream when they die. T what is video games? When did video games become scary? Yeah, today it's kind of tame, like, you know. Might probably still scare some younger people i don't know who knows <laughs> well since a few of my subscribers are younger comment D does this scare you still because then at least i know okay i wasn't the only one it wasn't just people back then who were just scared of 2d sprites walking around the area oh god i hadn't even faced a red door yet okay so it's probably on the other side of the map um, oh. Heartbeat. Where are you? I must complete this. Even though I think I have before, but I want to just reassure that, yes. God damn it, green door. The same thing's going to happen. I'm going to go through the red door, and it's going to give me the red green key. And I have to run all the way back. There we go. See? Well, it gave me a health kit as well, so that's good. That's nice. Oh, I was blue door as well. Okay, great. Now I'm going to go to the green door. I can fucking remember where it is. Can you even zoom out with this? I don't know. I don't think you can. Oh, God. Okay, that actually made me jump a little bit. <laughs> Don't know what I was. I don't know what I was expecting to be honest. Probably just just the key on its own or another health kit. All right, now get to the blue door. Get to the blue door. Oh, hey, there it is, the flashy red thing. Level one, yes, it just resets. So that's the whole game, I guess. They can't even bother be bothered to put an ending or whatever. So there you go, that's Clone. Pretty interesting, I guess, history of indie games, I guess you want to call it. Well, that's what the whole Net Eurose thing was. Yeah, I can't really remember any other Net Eurose games. I've, I have played a few, but 
this is not the only one I remember just because it scared me. <laughs> there you go. So, I might probably play some other PS1 and PS2 games. Now that, now that I've got emulators, I can actually show it properly without having to bloody... PS2 games, maybe not, because they half of them don't bloody work. And they're bloody lag like crazy, because my computer's shit, but... Alright, so, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.